In this video, let's understand the basics of forensic investigation with iManage Threat Manager. All alerts for potentially malicious behavior are displayed on the alerts dashboard. They are displayed chronologically with the latest alert displayed on top. The risk score associated with the alerts communicate the urgency of the alert. Higher the risk score, greater the probability that the behavior is at risk. You can sort by risk score to display alerts with highest risk on top. For every alert, we show you the username, the date the alert was generated, and the activity counts of the user. Most of the activity counts are self-explanatory. Document refers to the unique number of documents the user accessed when generating an alert. Mail is the number of iManage documents sent through email as attachments. The threat levels Urgent, High, Elevated, Moderate, Low map to risk scores. The activities that are colored are the ones where the user behaved unexpectedly. The fill indicates the extent to which the activity contributed towards the risk score. Let's mouse over the print count. The risk score represents the part of the total risk score that is attributed to the print activity. The count indicates the number of prints. The group mean is the number of prints a typical user being monitored by the rule performs. The individual mean is the number of prints that the user typically performs. Thresholds are statistically determined at the user and group level. Greater the deviation in the user's behavior from the individual's normal, greater is the risk score. By going through this video, you have understood how to perform investigation on the alerts, which includes understanding what values in each column signify, identifying the color schemes and their significance, and understanding what each value under an activity conveys.